Welcome back to Haunted Halls 4 Nightmare Dwellers. We had quite the cliffhanger at the end of the previous video when Dr. Blackmore attacked! Oh, oh, I guess I have to reset my settings. Okay, um, super easy mode it is. Going somewhere? You won't get away from me that easily, so just relax here for a while. Oh no! Oh no! Welcome to my reality. There's no way out. Aha! So Dr. Blackmore's nightmare dream in the previous video was just a fake out and this is his real creepy dream reality. I should have known. It was too easy, it was too easy stopping him by going through that rather bland city. Okay, so now we need to figure a way out of here. Figure a way out of here and maybe get some jelly beans. How how do I get out of here? Okay, I grab the rag. And I use the washing machine. Perfect! Ah, not perfect! Welcome to my home. You're about to learn what kind of childhood I had. It'll be a journey you'll never forget. So this may not be 100% obvious. So remember the house. Apparently everything up to this moment has just been a weird, crazy hallucination. And this is what the house really looks like. And you can kind of see that this room is based off a room in the house. And then this is the room with the refrigerator, and like, I guess over here is the room with the, the photograph machine. And I believe the rubber gloves are the item we're trying to find. No, as, as we continue through this area, it will be, um, I guess, more obvious that this house is based on the house that the rest of the game takes place in. Oh. oh when he was a kid, he was just a happy, normal kid. And not a creepy octopus kid who tried to take over the world multiple times. That's nice to know. Anyway, over here. Ah, cuckoo for the cuckoo clock. Ah! Okay, seriously, do not put buttons inside the toaster. Never a good idea. Ah, I see we have a key. Lemon juice? Delicious. When I grow up, I want to see this world destroyed. I'm so sick of people's obsession with sanity. They can't see the big picture of the universal plan. And yet they cling to the hope that logic will bring them understanding and harmony. Ooh, the foul Dr. Blackmore. Batteries. Awesome. What do I need those batteries for? I think it's to activate this thing. So now we go out the window. Hmm, we'll need a fuse. Ah! Another hidden object challenge, I see. There's 
there's a fuse. There's that fuse. And then everything else is really difficult for me to find. I'm, I'm just not good at this. Clover. Feather goes... Somewhere? That particular spike as opposed to all of the other ones. <laughs> I tickle the frog. I tickle the frog. Right. I set this on fire. You know what? Forget this. Um, match three mode. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so fuse here. Remote control here, and now we can go in the garage. But first, we have a scoop. And that thing needs a bucket. So the bucket is over here, but it needs a handle. What? Oh! Ugh! Ugh! Nasty monsters! I can see we have some items that will require backtracking. Hmm, need something there. Cool. Oh, basketball, nice. And a baseball bat. So, basketball puzzle. What you want to do is... Yeah! Score! You want to make ten shots in a row. And I think I found the perfect place where you just need to click as soon as possible and you'll automatically score. Yes! As you can see, it kind of goes faster every time, trying to uh, throw you off a bit, make it a bit more difficult, which is nice. I appreciate the fact that they were trying to make this puzzle a little bit more difficult. What's my sticky tape? What, what am I doing here? The game led me here, so I can only presume... Oh, I broom. Alright, so, a little bit of backtracking all the way over here. This will be the blade, but I think I need a handle. Do I have a handle? I do not have a handle. Perhaps I get the handle over here. With this puzzle, your puzzle is to get five on the right hand side. I mean, five on the left hand side, sorry. Like that. Ah, fruit for the creepy creature. <laughs> creepy, freaky thing. Um, yeah, uh, rubber gloves. Now we have a handle and a battery. So, handle over here. Back to our good friend, the Hidden Objects Challenge. of glass. Ah, and we have found a belt. Giving us the bucket that we can use over here. Car keys! Brilliant! Wow, that's a, that's a creepy bobblehead. He's got a snake bobblehead. My favorite animal be would be one that could kill with its appearance. The prey would be terrified, paralyzed by fear, so no poison is necessary. Yes! I believe we use the tire iron here. To open. 
open up the door over here. Yep. So this is... This is what it's saying. Like, this house was based on the previous house. This room is taken directly from the previous room. Blackmore's memories must be mixed up, or the game developers are saving, saving money by reusing sets. I think they're saving money by reusing sets. Ah, we have a bath tap. Hmm, it's gonna be a while before we can just solve that one. Probably gonna be the next video before we can get that one solved. And this is the chimney. It doesn't look like there's anything inside the chimney. Oh, I'm going back here? Why am I going back here? Oh, now that I have this grinder, I'm gonna use it once and then forget it. Great, perfect. Don't sweat it, just forget it. Oh no, this hidden objects challenge again. Hey, I, I got something. Yay. Oh, it's easier the second time around. Oh, I like this. And where do I cut to get the mushroom? This is not obvious to me. Oh! Those things are mushrooms? Right. Right, I have a compass. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> mattress over here. Now, we go inside to see Dr. Blackmore's creepy area. This is the only place that I could escape from my parents. They used to control every little thing that I did. Those monsters. I used to sit here and dream of taking over the world when I grew up. Such visions of freedom. Evil creepy man. Come to here for photograph plates. I believe we need to do something for... We need a screwdriver before we can fix that guy. Car battery here. Doll head. Creepy. And we found some acid. Perfect. Perfect. 